Hello, it's Anne Murphy here from Domus Blicity. How is um, everyone tonight? It's a lovely summer evening here in Brisbane and um, the weather is absolutely glorious, touch wood. Uh, there's been little humidity like we normally get at this time of year. I see a lot of um, the rest of Australia are having um, heat wave conditions, but shh, don't say it too loudly, but in Brisbane we've been having really, really gorgeous weather. So um, it's um, lovely to be here and to catch up with you again. I hope you've had a lovely Christmas and Boxing Day and were spoilt rotten. <coughs> I'm just waiting for my husband to get home from work. He's on call. He's had the days off, but he's still on call uh, for his evening work. And when he gets home, I'll have dinner with him. But I just wanted to pop in and say hello and um, just take a look back at 2018. Didn't it go quickly? It went um, really, really quickly for me. So um, I don't know what sort of year you had, um, but for me, <clears throat> it was um, pretty good all round there was always um, there's always things that pop up with the kids uh, especially when you're in a split family and you're dealing with other um, ex-partners and their partners and there was always um, trouble brewing there but I actually um, wiped my hands of it all um, earlier this year and found that since I did um, you know, life's been really wonderful. I don't have that, um, I don't leave that power in my ex-husband's hands anymore. I've taken control and I don't allow him to upset me anymore like he has the whole time we were together, but that's another story. But other than that and the effect that that had on the kids, uh, life was really, really good. Um, as far as the group goes, um, I'm just wondering if I, am I in the group? Hello, Jane. Hi, Pascal. Pascal, what happened to you? Oh my gosh. Pascal is my sister-in-law and um, she snapped her ankle. So um, just let me check that I'm, I'm in the group because Oh yeah, I'm in the group. I've got a bad habit of sometimes just appearing in my personal, um, on my personal page and going out talking to people that I barely know and they're probably all wondering what the hell I'm talking about. So I'm here. Um, yeah, so um, this year in the group, what I, uh, it was my mission to actually help everyone uh, manage their home lives better and I started the year off thinking <clears throat> if I had a different theme every month that might contain um, the subject for the month and you know really nut out that one subject and get on top of it and in January we had um, organizing you so it was all about organizing your time and your home and and your housework February we had um, how to how to love your home and your and your home life because I think that's really important if you um, if you love your home and you love your home life and you're positive about it, that all the rest will fall into place. In March, I covered the laundry and how to um, keep on top of your laundry. In April, it was um, what's cooking and I can't remember what we covered in that. But by about April, I sort of thought, a month is a bit too long to focus on one subject so I just went to randomly posting about different things and discussing different things and then uh, when it came back to October I decided to go back to a monthly theme and I covered um, around the world in 31 days and featured a different cuisine from um, a different country just to show you that with the basic ingredients and herbs and spices in your pantry that you can um, create so many different um, cuisines with basic ingredients. And then in November, we covered Christmas. So I hope that that 
gave you a head start into your Christmas planning and organising. And then in December, to finish off, it was um, Living Your Best Life, which is a pre prelude to what's coming in 2019. So um, I think I've got a pretty fantastic life. I've got um, a roof over my head. I've got a loving husband, um, two beautiful children. I love my home. I love that it's um, clean and tidy most of the time. <clears throat> well, clean and tidy to my standard. I have to turn a blind eye to um, the mess that the kids make sometimes, but I don't let that stress me. Um, we have more than enough money that we need to um, live. I make sure that I have plenty of me time to do the things that I like doing. Um, when the children were young, I um, didn't even give myself uh, a second thought. I just always um, looked after the children um, first, put their needs first and my, mine came last. And then uh, probably about the end of, um, well, in January 2012 is when my ex-husband left and then three months later my mother passed away. So by about the end of 2013, I had um, this epiphany, I guess, and um, completely turned my life around and um, made it really positive and it just attracted um, my beautiful husband into my life and then just a much <clears throat> carefree, easygoing way of life, which I've enjoyed um, ever since. So I want to be able to pass that on to you, how I've done that and what I do every day. I know that... Um, I'm me, you're you, we're not exactly the same, we don't have the same, we don't live in the same house, we don't, not the same age, we don't have the same children, we're all different, we all have different lives, some work, some don't, but in this, um, with this common theme that I have of living a more positive life, it just um, attracts so much more positivity into the rest of your home life and your business life and your relationships and that's what I'm going to be um, covering a lot more of in 2019, where you just set your housework and um, cleaning, that sort of thing, on autopilot. And, you know, you concentrate on living and, and living that, that great life that you want without having to have money problems, um, what to think about having for dinner, you know, the piles of laundry that you need to fold and all that sort of thing. So... That's what I want to really focus on to really help you um, have a really great 2019 because um, if you're like me and you realised how quickly 2018 went by, um, you know, how much quicker is the rest of your life going to go before you've started living your, your really, your best life. So um, we're going to, I'm going to be doing that um, I don't want to give too much away. It all kicks off next week on the 2nd of January, but just a little hint, there's 26 fortnights in a year. So instead of monthly themes, I'm going to be having fortnightly themes. So um, they could there could be a couple of different um, subjects, but I won't say any more until then. But um, I want to pop in at least every fortnight and um, tell you what the theme's about and, and how we're going to, how I'm going to deliver it and what we're going to learn. Uh, I'm going to be doing more um, tutorials and how to's, um, that sort of thing, just the way I do things. It might, um, hi Alison, it might, um, it might help you. I know there's some fantastic domestic goddesses already in the group that have got, got it all worked out. So, um, you know, they might like to pop in and share how they do it too. And that's another thing I want um, in 2019 is um, for more people to feel free to appear live within the group. You're in a safe environment. No one's ever going to share your videos or laugh at you or ridicule like you probably do to me. <laughs> I don't know. I've gotten used to doing Facebook Lives now, but I, I tell you, at the first, it was a little bit daunting. I still have technical issues. My darling husband bought me a pair of um, Bluetooth um, earphones for Christmas. And God help me if I can work them out. But it's supposedly got a microphone built in as well. But 
you know, I'll, I'll get some time and I'll read how they work. But um, feel free to pop in live, you know, if you want to share your grocery shopping hauls or your, your before and after shots of um, decluttering that you've done or anything. So um, this group is for you and to help you and, and to help you learn. So, um, you know, by all means, feel free to share, share um, blog posts. We've got a lovely um, Indian woman in our group, a new member who's sharing a lot of her um, Indian recipes, which is really great because I love Indian food. So if you've got things to share, by all means, um, feel free. Um, got the fortnightly thing happening, uh, different topics. Uh, there's going to be similar <coughs> weekly prompts. Um, I feel that the Monday goal setting prompt uh, worked well last year where um, you know you set yourself one to five um, goals for the week just to make yourself accountable and then you come back Friday and let us know how you went without any pressure of um, completing them all. That was the good thing about the group that it was very supportive. So if you had planned to do five things, but only got one done because the children got sick, you got sick or whatever, there's no um, ridicule or, or no, um, no problem. You know, we're there, we all, it all happens, it happens to the best of us. So um, it's just for you to be accountable for the things that you wanna get done for the week. Another one was um, the um, the Wednesday prompt, um, fill in the blanks. Um, so that was a bit of fun. It's just a way of getting to know you. Another one that might come back is the show and tell where you get to take a photo of your fridge or your TV or whatever, whatever the prompt was. And the Friday, um, let's celebrate. So celebrate the goals and accomplishments that you did make during the week. So um, that's those sort of things are all coming back. Um, I just can't read my writing. Um, oh, there's one thing I wanted to, to share with you. I did a little, um, I've got this little white, mini whiteboard. It's probably, is it around the, yeah, it is around the wrong way, but, um, one thing I wanted wanted to share with you, um, it was the best way I could describe it about how how I live my life, and um, it actually says um, personal, business, and home. Speaking about my life, and that line represents my life. So, um, sorry, it's around the wrong way. I didn't realise it was going to do that, but um, I just wanted this is how I explain, um, how I want to explain um, something to you that I hope for you to achieve next year is um, in my personal life, when I was born, of course, you know, you're growing and you're learning and um, your mother's teaching you everything. You, you get to your teen years, it gets a little bit rocky. Um, you might have uh, your first relationship problem you know then you get a um you know you might move out of home things are going oh well going well might have another relationship problem this is speaking from personal experience um then um things like you know my father died um then I got married and had the children and that was rocky, the whole relationship. Um, the relationship broke down, my, my mother passed away and then I picked up my life and um, it's just been going up and up and up ever since. So as far as my business life goes, um, you know, in my late teens, I got a part-time job. Um, had some fantastic jobs. They went really well. Uh, when I had um, the children, I stopped stopped working and had a couple of part-time jobs. But uh, working on my business now has um, has really given me the best of both worlds, being able to stay at home and be a mother and wife 
and still enjoy um, succeeding in business goals. And then this is the thing that I wanted to show you, um, show you and explain to you that um, from when I was born and I had great parents um, in, and grandparents that taught me, just taught me how to live, how to manage my money, how to do household chores, how to do um, uh, cooking and cleaning and washing and all those sorts of things. Through my um, adult years when I moved out of home, you know, even though I had a relationship breakdown, uh, it's still um, my home life, sorry, still managed, still managed well. Um, even when um, I had, um, sorry, my husband's just ringing me. I'll just finish this. So um, even though I had my mother pass away and my, my marriage broke down, I still had enough money for food. I still had a roof over my head. I could still cook and clean and organize and it's just remained a, cons a constant um, steady thing all throughout my life. So even though, you know, you have your ups and downs in your life, if you can get your home life right, that means, you know, having, having, um, uh, having the knowledge to uh, learn how to budget and save money and spend only on things that are necessary being able to cook and clean and um, keep a tidy home, if that remains constant in your life, well, you know, you'll have a good life. And all of these other things, these ups and downs, they won't really matter because you'll know that you'll always have a safe place to come home to and it will be safe and secure. So um, I hope you like my little diagram. <laughs> I just really wanted to use this little whiteboard for something. And I'm sorry that it's um, backwards but um, anyway so I'll um, so that's what I'm going to going to uh, try and achieve for you for 2019 how I do that um, how I've got money for everything that I need and and just how I enjoy life so much and have that happy home life so thank you very much for joining me tonight I better ring my husband back and find out what's happening he might be just ringing to say that he's um, on his way home and we'll, the kids have had dinner or they are having dinner. There's no screaming or fighting, so they um, must be doing okay. And um, I'll have dinner with him when he gets home. So thank you everyone for um, joining me tonight. And it all kicks off on the 2nd of January, a new year, um, new prompts, new um, fortnightly themes. And I hope that you um, uh, want to contribute more and get the most out of the group. And please, by um, all means, um, post it in the group. Or if you have any suggestions, feel free to Venn diagrams. <laughs> Hardly, Jane. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, if you've got any ideas or things that more that you'd like to see, please let me know. Um, here he comes again. I better ring my husband. Thanks everybody for joining me tonight and I'll catch you soon. Bye.